A warning tonight if you're planning on giving a puppy for Christmas this year. Animal Care Services is reminding people that caring for an animal is a big responsibility. But if you decide to get one, they're also warning about the dangers of purchasing from unlicensed breeders. Patty Santos tells us it was a costly mistake for one family. He was just set up on the side of the road with puppies and we had been talking about getting a puppy and so we just pulled over and and decided to get one. Jack was an impulse early Christmas present purchase for Shannon St. Cyr last year, but just days after she took him home, he became sick. He was just completely like laying there, not doing anything. She was told the puppy she purchased from the side of the road had parvo, a highly contagious viral illness that can be fatal. St. Cyr paid more than $1,000 to get him back to health, plus the hundreds she paid when she bought him. It's not a money-making industry unless you're cutting a lot of corners. Frequently you get underage puppies, puppies that are unvaccinated, puppies that have been exposed to parvovirus. Animal Care Services is warning people to steer away from buying dogs from unlicensed dog breeders that advertise on the side of the road or on social media pages. And if you think, well, yeah, but I'm getting this dog so much cheaper, you're getting what you paid for. You're getting a, a, a cut down version the care hasn't been as good. The person St. Cyr bought the dog from faced a classy misdemeanor and was forced to pay the maximum fines for failing to provide adequate care for pets. But ACS says he's continued his illegal practices elsewhere and he's just one of many out there. We've dealt with, you know, probably 25, 30 different individuals. Uh, many of them, though, have multiple multiple misdemeanors against them. Sincere hopes to spare others the hard lesson she learned. Definitely don't buy them from the side of the road because they don't care. The, they don't care about any medical condition that the dogs have. Jack was lucky and he survived, but it cost the owner more than heartache. It was for my granddaughter, so I was trying to save them because I just couldn't imagine her being so upset about it. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. ACS says breeders need a seller's permit to be able to sell dogs, but they say the best option is to adopt from a shelter. If you're patient, you can get the breed that you want from places like Animal Care Services, Pets Alive or other nonprofits, and you have the assurance that those pets have been examined.